raps are ready. I hope your raps are ready. I hope everyone is, man. I hope everyone. You know, I, I don't want anyone to be left behind. But unfortunately, some people already uh, gave up their fate. They already decided their fate. They're staying. And you guys don't know about the seven year tribulation, bro. Um, unbelievable how some people are just they, they don't care, you know. And there's gonna be a lot of people dying, you know, because you're gonna be forced to take up the mark of the beast. And if you don't take the mark of the beast, they're gonna kill you. Uh, you know, you guys got to repent. You guys got to repent for your sins and give up your worldly ways. And what are you doing for the kingdom? You know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, I'd probably say about a hundred, everyone, not, not 100, maybe not 100 percent, but 99.9% .9 of the people that I've known know, you know, they're not, they're not promoting, they're not promoting the gospel. They're not promoting God's world. They're just promoting ignorance or promoting the the Illuminati music, devil worshippers, Satanists, uh, gossip, um, you know, a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. My Instagram account, uh, I, you know, I had about 1,200 followers on my real one. You know, I would, I would post real life pictures of myself and all that. I got off Instagram for a little bit over a year and I came back and I started promoting God's word. I started, you know, a lot. And I lost so many subscribers. I've, I'm sorry, I lost so many followers. Maybe about like 200 from family, family, you know, people I've known all my life, friends I've known for years, people who I thought, oh, that's my brother. I would call them my brother, you know, oh, blah, blah, blah. So I would meet them in the street. Hey, what's up? Blah, 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 you know, and it, it just comes to realize when the Bible says they will hate me, you know, or they will hate you, people of God who, who promoting God's word because you're no longer of the world. You're with God. So they hate you for it. And it's just like, it's unbelievable how the scriptures, like, you know, years later, it all starts to make sense, you know? And, and then of course there's going to be the, uh, the people, oh, the Bible's not real. God's not real. Jesus isn't real. The Bible predicts in revelations about the mark of the beast over 2000 years ago. And it's happening right now. And people are like, oh no, the Bible, that's not real. The Bible wasn't written by this. It was a white man. This and that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, they already had, they already accepted the Antichrist. You know, anyone who says they don't believe in the Bible, they don't believe in God, but they know, but especially if they know about Mark of the Beast, they just have the Antichrist spirit. They're ready to get it chipped. They're ready to get chipped and they can't wait for it. You know, and this is what's gonna happen to you. It's so sad, bro. It, it, Cause this is what God, I mean, God already shows us if you pay attention before, but you know, you know how people when the new technology comes out, the new iOS um, for your iPhones, uh, the new I, I, the new iPhone, you know, something new, you know, some new technology that doesn't matter. You know, people are always bragging, oh, look how cool this is, the, the iWatch, look how cool, look what I could do, look what, it's like, that doesn't, you don't need that, bro. It's just another technology slave. You know, and that's what people are going to do with the market piece. Like, look, I could open my keys to my door and my car door. I could open the keys to my house. You know, I could pay, I could tweet without even using a phone. Like people are gonna, they're gonna think it's so cool to be chipped. This is what's gonna happen. Uh, so I hope you're prepared. I hope you guys repent. Get on your knees and repent for your sins and pray and ask for forgiveness. Get a relationship with Jesus. Going to church, it's not gonna save you, bro. A lot of people think that going to church, nowadays the church, the pastors are sellouts. These pastors, these pastors nowadays are pimps. You know, they only want your money. They're not promoting God's world award. They're not. They are. I mean, I'm not going to say every church, but majority, I'd probably say about over 90% of churches nowadays, they're not promoting God's word. You know, a lot of these pastors aren't, aren't preaching what the Bible says. Uh, they're, they're not They're not preaching on repentance because if they, if they preach on repentance, that means that no one's going to be in their church. James 4.4, 4, a friend with the world is enemy against God. Joel Osteen, they, that's his church is packed. He's a false prophet. You know, he ain't, he ain't getting saved by the rapture because he, he put money before God. You know, he, he preaches about prosperity. You know, that's not what God is about. God's not about prosperity, you know, um, about, you know, riches and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's a bunch of nonsense. The Bible says that no man can boast because it's by, it's by faith that I've been saved. It's not by works. So I just want you guys, the people watching this, the people who made this far, I hope you guys get a connection, a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because what's about to happen in the world seven years later, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Give it up now. We're at the end of the times. You know? We're at the, we're at the, the final hour, bro. Um, and, you know, it could happen anytime. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen next week. It could happen five months from now. Could, I mean, it, this last 2018 went by so fast, so you never know. And I'm not guaranteeing 2019 will happen. You know, it could be 2020, 2021, but it's soon, you know, and I can feel it happening. This world is so de demonic, you know? Christians are the most hated group. It's not feminism, it's not gays, it's not any, any other these 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 groups, you know, um, 
you know, what the New Agers and or uh, Colts is, you know, Freeman, whatever, whatever it may be. They don't get hated on. It's Christians that are the most hated on. And the Bible predicts all this. It predicts all this, bro. And everything just makes sense. And so I, I want to wrap this up and I want to say, what are you doing for God, man? Uh, reading your Bible and going to church, you know, sure, reading the Bible is good. Educating yourself is good. But what are you doing for other people? Are you planting the seed? Like right now this video, I'm planting the seed in someone's mind. I've lost thousands of followers. I've lost, th I probably like all my totals because I started preaching God's word in uh, Twitter, social media or Twitter uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that. I probably lost at least 10,000 followers. I'm not even joking. Five to 10,000 for sure. You know, and it's all good though, because just because I lost that 10,000, I've also planted this seed in a lot of people's minds, but the message that I was, re I was putting my platform to reach out. And because of that, I lost a lot of friends, people who I've known for years, my family, I've lost a lot of them. They all unfollowed me. But it doesn't matter because I plan the people who want who needed to see the word. That's what matters to me. It just it just kind of just woke me up to real what real reality is, you know. Because if I was posting narcissistic pictures, pictures of myself, the Bible says the end of times people will be lovers of themselves, you know. Posting all this, you know, with girls and partying and drugs and alcohol, I would have tons of likes. They would not they would not unfollow me. But because I'm posting God's word, because I'm posting Bible scriptures. You know, and you know, and posting, you know, what the 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 news that no one talks to mainstream media news won't show you. Unfollow, unfollow. It's because people have been so blue pilled that when the minute they see the truth, oh, they run away from it. You know, they've been so programmed. It's uh, it's unbelievable. And this video is, is longer than I want it to be. But now nah, I'm gonna speak the truth, bro. I'm gonna make this video a little bit longer because the truth gotta be out. You know, this is how this world is. So I'm letting you guys know when you start promoting the gospel, you're gonna lose followers. You're gonna lose subscribers. You're gonna lose friends. You're gonna lose family. But hey, losing them to enter the kingdom of God to go to heaven to get raptured, it's way better, bro. Life is short, you know, and a lot of this stuff here in the earth doesn't even matter. It's all it's all gonna disappear. So what are you doing? for the time that you're here what are you doing you know like i said reading the bible is great don't get me wrong but that's all you're doing you're reading the bible and the next you're, you're living your life in sin you're masturbating watching porn uh fornicating uh doing drugs alcohol damaging your holy temple and it's not it's not a sin to drink alcohol but getting drunk off of alcohol personally i don't drink alcohol i give up all that i gave up all my fleshy desires i've been born in christ the messiah lives in me you know my flesh is completely dead yesterday i went to the gym and uh, prior to uh, like a, a prior to a couple weeks ago i went to the gym about five or six days a week for nine to ten months and my flesh was desiring it my flesh was was was, was i loved it but i went to the gym yesterday or today in the, in like 7 p.m 7 a.m and it just like it wasn't in me no more, you know, because my flesh, it was my flesh that desired. My spirit doesn't care about lifting weights. Like, it, it is, it's just my flesh. I gave up all my friends. James 4 4. You know, I don't text no one. I don't call no one. Um, you know, if I, if, you know, if I am texting or if I am promoting the word, I'm just giving them scriptures. You know, I'm giving them word. And if they give me any vibes that, you know, I don't want to hear it. All right, bro, I'm moving on. You know, I don't have time to waste. I got, I got people that I want to spread the word and plant the seed to or people to wake up. And I hope you're doing the same thing. You know, don't try to worry about pressing other people, bro. Try to worry about pressing God. Worry about pressing Jesus Christ. These people ain't going to save you, bro. You know, they're not going to save. I know we live in such a beta-filled society where people are always going to impress others. You know, but nah, bro. Social media was created for Jezebel spirits and Ahab spirits. That's what it was created for. So once you go against the grain, people are going to hate you for it. You know, when you don't post like a Jezebel, when you don't post like an Ahab spirit. And, uh, you know, it, it, this world is, it's like I said, it's so crazy, man. It is so brainwashed. Uh, and I can't wait to go. I can't wait to go to heaven, man. Oh, man, I could, I could, I could, I could, I could already see it, bro. Like, there's this, there's no more evil, you know, there's no more evil. And I don't know if, like, how, how heaven is operated, if there's marriage, if there's family or kids, I don't know. But all I know is that I'm gonna be happy, you know, that, that's internal life. I'm gonna be happy, and that's all I really desire. This entire world, I can't stand it, bro. I can't stand this world. Uh, I just am done, bro. I'm, I'm so done with that, and I just, I can't wait to get raptured. And I hope you guys get raptured too. Like I said, repent. You know, God overlooked our ignorance. This is an ax. God overlooked our ignorance, but now he's calling people all around the world, everywhere in the world to repent. You know, uh, in Matthew, the kingdom of God, repent. The kingdom of God is at stake. You know, we're, we're living in the end of time. And I hope you guys are prepared. 
though. I think the reason why God's lagging it or it might take a little bit longer is because he wants as much people to repent. He wants people to wake up, you know, and uh, honestly, I hope, I hope, you know, it waits a little bit longer because, you know, I want people to, to, for, to get, to accept Christ in their life, you know, I don't want them to suffer for seven years with the Antichrist. I don't, I don't want that for any, not even my enemy. I hope my enemies wake up. You know, most of them won't. Most of them already, uh, like I said, their fate has already been decided. And uh, it is what it is. You know, with the GMOs and their food, the GMOs and their weed, you know, it's, it is what it is. But God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. Like the video, subscribe.